TYT Sports Halloween Special. Uh, so there's a few Halloween costumes we want to touch on here. Uh, Hannah and Hassan, Hello. thanks for joining us to give us this uh, broad spectrum of opinion. So the first picture we're going to throw to straight away, P.K. Subban, uh, NHL player for the Montreal uh, Canadiens. Who is he, Hass? He is some uh, hockey player. Oh, and the, <laughs> in the Halloween I was costume, it. <laughs> it's Michael Jackson from Thriller. Okay, good. I was trying to throw it to that. I know he's a hockey player. I'm not going to sit and I know he's specialty, but he does, I don't. He does skate around on the ice. Of course, I had to tell you he was a hockey player because okay. I was worried he didn't know that's why. I, and I love this costume. I love Michael Jackson. I love Thriller. And I love that he was also voted NHL's like, top 10 like, sexiest bachelors and that he like totally rocked this zombie out. That is a so good fact. That, that is a good well fact. Done. I love I how much research. You're, you're a yeah. mountain of knowledge. Yeah, you are. <laughs> so if he's for the Montreal Canadiens. I'm going to guess that is in Canada. Okay. Let's go to the next one. David <laughs> Deschamps, uh, another NHL centre of the Montreal Canadiens. Why are we focusing so much on the Canadian team, because Jason? The hockey players do uh, the, like they, they have the best costumes. costumes. Hold. Yeah. Hold. The hockey players have the best costumes. That's why. I, uh, I think Jason just. Uh, Loves every other sport that's not soccer. Yeah, we know this. Wants as much coverage the as truth possible. Comes out. And he, ha he hates Ronaldo, so <laughs> comment in the section below. Come, like Um All right, so David Deschernes uh, from Montreal Canadiens dressed up as, how do you say it? Deschernes? David Desjardins. David, David, David Desjardins. Oh, David Desjardins. <laughs> All right, David Desjardins of the uh, Montreal Canadiens also dressed up as a Joker. Um, that's a great costume, to be honest. He kind of looks like he's He Roger. looks, he does. Right? He is very good. That's a very good costume. He's got the hair for it and everything. That Perfect. just, to me, that just looks like Francis on a Tuesday. <laughs> but I don't know. With my waistcoat? Yeah, with your waistcoat. <laughs> Waistcoats on a Monday. Um, and then the Boston Bruins full NHL team dressed up as the characters from Frozen. I love this costume. It's fantastic. Um, what about the details? Okay, so Dougie Hamilton, who you can see on the right uh, in the Elsa dress, does this every year, and last year he was a 6'5 baby. Uh, but this year he claimed that he loved Frozen, and he actually said they were singing Let It Go down the halls oh, while they were going, which I just think is the cutest thing. I mean, these are guys who beat on each other, like knock yeah. each other's teeth out, and then they're singing Let It Go to kids. I think it's <laughs> awesome. Um, and then moving swiftly on to the serious note, um, if you're thinking about dressing up for Halloween, what you shouldn't be is this. Or this. What, what is wrong with people? Hey, at yeah, least... that's a no-go. There's one point <laughs> about doing this, right? And I've got it on the sheet of paper, nobody famous, because it's true, you're never going to be famous doing this, no matter how much you think this will be your claim to fame. Making light of domestic violence for a Halloween costume, let's be serious for a moment, that is ridiculous, and stop doing it now. I actually saw a kid dress up as it. Mm. That kid's parents, why are you letting him run around in a, a costume? I remember he's dragging a little doll around, I saw it before. Um, so, in terms of a serious note, Let's not do that. No, I wanted to bring up a serious note here. Um, definitely uh, some of my favorite don't do this costumes were actually uh, Mike Vick, which is now a little bit more acceptable after <laughs> long enough time has passed. But, and uh, definitely Jerry Sandusky, like that was not cool to be Jerry Sandusky, and I feel like people still do it. I don't know any of those people, but I will definitely take Jerry it. Sandusky touched a lot of boys in Penn State. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Okay, let's not, let's not dress up as that person. All right, so to move back to the awesomeness of Halloween, this costume is hands down my favorite. Uh, Josh Sundquist, US men's national amputee soccer team. Look at how amazing this guy is, right? So you're faced with sheer adversity in your life and look what he does, he makes light out of it. Uh, 2010, gingerbread man. Love I know that you one. said that's my favorite one. Yeah. I think that's genius. That's awesome. I sorry, can we have that up again? I just I wanted to check and see the, the other ones. I mean, you've got 2012. Um, he is what it a is. It, he's a lamp. Yeah. Oh my god, it's hilarious. It's amazing. And then uh, the fav my favorite one. He is now a foosball player for Halloween. This guy is honestly. There's something, there's something special about this guy, to be able to make light out of his situation and do this for Halloween. Uh, inspirational, has to be said. So, uh, moving on, Russell Westbrook. I know who Russell Westbrook is, Jason. He plays for the Oklahoma City. Say, yeah. He plays for the Oklahoma City Thunder, and he's also very good. What position and does he play? He plays shooting guard. Point guard. Point guard. Shooting point guard. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, point guard that shoots. And, Kevin, and I remember that Kevin Durant said that he was up there with the real MVP when he took his MVP suite. He said that Russell Westbrook was a person that should have been uh, touched upon. So there you go. That's my knowledge for that point. Anyway, he was, uh, he was a guy that's porn stash from Orange is the New Black. Love And that this. is great. So I don't know who the other people are in this picture. Are they part of the costume? They're like, they're the 
the inmates, yeah. Yeah, I know that the inmates from it, but are they part of his costume? Did he, he hire them? Yeah, yeah, they need to hire, that's what I want to know. Like, did they, he was just like, he hired them for the night. They were like, you guys need to come around and maybe like kiss each other. <laughs> I guess that would fall in line with the what? show. I, I mean, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's acceptable. Inmates. As he, like, that's what happens in the show, I think. Okay, but let's keep in mind that this guy's a really fashionable guy. He has a lot of style. You know a lot about that, yes, Francis. He, he has his new line at Barney's. So he's really bringing it with the costume, and I like that a lot. Hannah, that was a great intro to, to talk about style log. Yeah, so if you like that style, you can check that out. Um, and then in the final one, Sean White. I do know who this is as well. The Olympic Games uh, snowboarder as a mermaid. And that, again, is a fantastic costume. Um, a lot better than the, when I dressed up as uh, the female... Uh, in my latest style clip where I was turned into Regina George. It was horrendous. You can check it out and laugh at me if you want. But this is a very good what costume. You turned into Regina George? I thought you were Regina George. And the worst joke of the week goes to... <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> no, but, I mean, yeah, Sean White does not make a pretty... A pretty woman, that's for yeah. sure. Who, Jesus so Christ. He, what is he to his Olympic Games snowball? Dot, I remember, right. what else did he do again? He does the X Games. The X, X Games. Games, okay. So yeah. look, when I started learning how to snowboard, I had the math, like a massive crush on Sean White, and this kind of took it away from me. It did? Yeah, I mean, he, I mean, he's still got his like muscles in his nice little mermaid suit, but I don't, kind of ruin that, ruin that teenage dream for me. Now the fans know me. you're into gingers. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So if you're watching, there you go, fans. If you're watching and you want to get Hannah Sart, make sure not Tweet to... Tweet at Hannah. Yeah, don't, be, a in a, don't uh, be a mermaid. And if you are, have ginger. Or ginger tendencies like me with a ginger beard that appears every once, every <laughs> once in a while, then you can make sure to hit her up. So uh, thanks again for watching TIT Halloween special. Uh, make sure to follow us on Twitter at TIT Sports. Me at Francis underscore Maxwell. Haas at... Hassan the Hun. And Hannah at... Hannah love, Cranston underscore. Hannah Cranston. Underscore. So the underscore. Underscore. It's at the end. I think as you like get more a, followers, you're going to no, have to No, you know throw. the emoji who's like this? Yes. So it's like Hannah Cranston, like... I think you need to find the 10-year-old Hannah, Cran Hannah Cranston and I'll fuck get her. her up. Oh, okay. No, I'm not going to do that. Too far. <laughs>